Hi, refreshers, Nicole Lauren. I'm a fresh and style. So I have a dirty little secret. That's right. I have a little spot in my house that is a hot mess. Your girl, Miss Home and Fresh and Style, Miss Professional Home Organizer, has a dirty little secret that she's about to show you. So you're not gonna wanna miss this. If you guys are new to my channel, I'd love it if you hit that red subscribe button so you can follow me on all my tips and tricks on all things decluttering and organizing. Stay tuned till the end because I'm gonna share the number one thing that gets in your way when it comes to decluttering. So I'm gonna set you up for success. Are you ready for my dirty little secret? Are you ready? Are you ready? I don't know if I'm ready. I'm not ready. <laughs> I'm not ready to let you in. My kid is out there and he's like, you're gonna show them your mess. My mess? Actually, it's our mess. Let's get it straight. So I wanted to give you guys a little backstory so you understand before I let you see this, what's happening here, right? Because you're gonna say, Nicole, what's happening? So I did a video about my divorce. Me and my kiddos are in a good place, but we had to downsize from a house to a condo, okay? I'll say it again, a house to a condo. So we had to go to a much smaller space. So I'm a crazy person. The whole house was decorated in 24 hours. Everything was hung on the wall. Everything's organized that you can see. All the other closets are organized for the most part when my kids like to keep up with them. But there's this one place, this one place. So my, my washer and dryer is here and this is like the laundry room haulish closet. It's the only like storage space that we have. And it just became a dumping ground to like, I don't want to deal with this right now. I don't have anywhere else in the house to put this, so it's going to go in here. How many of you have that space in your house, right? So here's the deal. We're going to dive in here and we're going to talk about something. Get ready. It's going to put it into perspective for you guys. Do you want your stuff or do you want space? Because you can't have both. Every time I open this, I am like throwing stuff. I instantly get anxiety. I instantly get overwhelmed. And I literally just have not taken the time to get rid of this stuff and to go through it. So I'm going to go through it with you guys today. Maybe I'm ready to show you the mess now. I feel like there's, there should be like suspense music or like Jaws, like da 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 like I'm scared. <laughs> okay. Judgment free. Okay judgment free. I know you guys all have these spaces. I'm going to show you this space right now. Are you ready? Brace yourself. This gives me anxiety. This gives me overwhelmingness. I literally yell at people for having spaces like this. I moved in and threw everything I didn't want to address in here. Do I want space or stuff? Do I want to be free or do I want stuff? I want space and freedom. So we're about to dive in. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Ah! Like, I don't even know. I, oh, I don't even know what's happening in here. Like, please tell me. This is like people, I organized their house, right? Nicole's dirty little secret. I got it too because I just didn't want to deal with it. I'm going to show you how you can deal with it so fast. I am going to show you and empower you to be free and have space and get rid of your stuff. I preach it all the time with all of your guys' stuff and I'm about to do it to mine because I've just been putting it off. So we're gonna take everything out to see what's going back in. We're gonna do a super fast declutter. I am gonna show you how to put things into perspective, make those fast decisions and give yourself your space back. So for me, I can tell you that when I open this closet, I don't want stuff, I want space. When I open this closet, I don't want stuff, I want freedom. Every single time that I open this closet for three months, the only emotion I get is stress, overwhelm, and anxiety because there's just stuff everywhere. Does this stuff make me feel better having it than the emotion of being overwhelmed? Absolutely not. Put it into perspective. Go look at that space right now. Like literally pause me and go look at that space and say, do I value all this stuff more? Or do I want my space back? Do I want my freedom? Do I want my sanity? It is all connected. So I am like so excited because there is nothing in here that I am like so attached to that I am going to be like, I have to have it because I have to have sanity. I have to have freedom and I have to have space. So let's take all this out because I am ready to declutter. Grab your three things you need to declutter any space. Right now, we've got our large black trash bags for donations. We have a trash bag for trash. And then I also suggest having some kind of bin basket box. 
of an item that doesn't belong in here, but belongs somewhere else in the house. Side note, this is my favorite laundry basket ever. I will drop this in the links below because I have two of these. They are life, they are amazing, and it's about to go down. I'm gonna pull everything out. First, I wanted to give you a brief, a brief synopsis here of what's happening. So on the top, this was here when I moved in. I think it's a, uh, what are the beds that you blow up? A blow up, a blow up mattress, an air mattress, that thing. Uh, I've got all of my bags because I have no place else to store them. Uh, we've got some toilet paper and blankets, a laundry basket. Who doesn't need a Christmas tree with their rain boots, with their laundry detergent because there's no space for laundry, with their shoes, with their towels, with everything, right? Random spaces. Dive in them. Go find them and dive And in. I want to show you guys this because, like, I have been super intrigued and interested and confused why this is. Let's see if I can get a good angle. Okay. So, can you see that? Like, it's an attic, but, like, is it for babies? Like, I, nothing is going to fit in there. No bin. No nothing. I can't store anything in there. So when you take all your stuff out, you realize how much of you have, right? So for me, the majority of stuff in here is pool towels. And here's, here's the deal is we are huge beach and pool people. Like every weekend I will be at the peat beat, the peach at the beach when it is nice out and we have a community pool. So we go all the time. But when I had all these towels, we actually had a house and I actually had more room for them. So I have to try to get my towels on one rack. So, and that includes bath and pool. So there's three of us and sometimes we have some friends over, but not that many. So we've got to get rid of some of these. So I have a ginormous amount of towels that came with us from the other house and I just didn't have time to part with them. I'm going to show you how to get rid of these super easy. Actively used or deeply cherished. Okay. So do we actively use them or deeply cherish it? And have we used it in the last year? So those are the two main questions that you always ask yourself. And can it be replaced for under $20? If I need another towel, I can go to Ross or Marshalls and I can buy it for under $20. So first of all, this and this are my beach blankets. Yes, I actively use both of them. So those are staying and I can justify having two. Um, this towel and these two towels are ginormous, huge towels. We don't use them a lot. I'm gonna get rid of the two big ones. I haven't used these two in the past year because they honestly take up half the washing machine. Um, gonna keep one of the larger ones and I love this boho one, see? So keep the one that you like the most. I love this instead of the other two. So those are going kids ones. So I have this blue stripe, this blue stripe. Okay, so these are kind of similar. We're getting rid of the one that's not as cute, that's a little bit older. I know that one of my kids loves the fishies and my other kid loves this one. So I'm going to keep one of each of those. This one's mine. How cute. I love the roses on this one. Um, so we've got two more pool towels. So one, two, three, four. And there's three of us. Um, I'm going to say that we are going to keep one of these. Uh, hey, Alec. Let's see which one my kid wants. I probably shouldn't call him in here because he's like deeply cherishes every item. He's going to be like, what are you doing? Alec, come here, quick. So I'm getting rid of some towels. Do you want the Mickey Mouse one or this one? Here he is. Come say hi to everyone. My child, they can't see you. Bend down, bend down. My child that deeply cherishes everything. There he is. We can't see your head. There you are. Okay, so I'm, you like the fishy towel, right? Okay, do you like Mickey Mouse or this one better? This one's like a Nautica one, or do you want the Mickey? You can only keep one. Mickey. Mickey, do you deeply cherish this one or actively use it? All right, so we're gonna get rid of this one. Um, okay, thank you. And then let's talk about how all of my bath towels, I think some of them aren't clean, but I don't have a lot of the bath towels. I don't know when the last time we've used this pillowcase is. This is gonna go, this is gonna go. I don't like the color of these. These are gonna go, I don't even know what size those are. I don't even, these don't even fit beds that we have. So this has just been like in there. I haven't even gotten a chance to get through them. Um, this is actually like um, a beach sarong. That goes in my bathing suit drawer, see? Didn't even know that was in there. 
Um, all right, so this is a tablecloth. I have one tablecloth if I do events, so this is actually staying. Um, again, not really sure what bed this goes to. We haven't used it in a year, sewing. Um, I don't like this towel. I don't like the way it feels. I don't like this towel. Um, I don't like this towel. We've got some face cloths, hand towels. Okay, and I don't like this. So we have an entire bag already um, of towels that we did not need. Let's move on to my beach stuff. All right, so the bags that I had on the top, they all can't stay because I don't have a lot of room in my other room for them. So first of all, I have one beach hat. I'm gonna keep this for now, but I'm gonna do a beach shop with me and I might buy another hat because this one's a little bit floppy. So if I find another hat, I'm getting rid of this one. Uh, that's another thing I do with your get, if you, if you buy an item, you gotta get rid of an item. Um, so this, let's be real, I think this is a great concept, but I never use it. It's not being used in there and I don't want it in my car. Um, this used to be my insulated football bag that I used to go to my kids' games, but it's seen better days and I could buy a new one if I need it. I haven't used it in months. I use a cuter bag. Um, this isn't going anywhere. Can we just talk about how super cute this is? This is like the most boho-ish boho bag ever. This is staying, this is never going. And this can like fold up and go somewhere small if I need it to. Um, this bag, let's talk about this bag. Um, I don't use it. It's cute, I like it. Um, I could buy a new one for under $20. Uh, it's not actively used, it's sometimes used, and it's not deeply cherished, so it's going. I need my space, I need my space, not my stuff. And this bag, I used to work at Victoria's Secret, and I think it like shrunk, and none of my stuff's gonna fit in there. I have other cute bags, that's going. Okay, um, on to the next. All right, so next we're gonna talk about blankets. So the blankets that we actively use are actually actively used out there in a basket in the living room. The ones in here were just backup. We don't have room for a lot of backup. There's three of us. I have three Disney blankets that we've gotten from Disney World. Um, I'm gonna get rid of two and keep one just in case if we need it for the park or something. Um, actually, I'm getting rid of all of them because I have I have my two beach blankets that I would grab if we don't need these. We don't actively use them. We don't deeply cherish them. I haven't used them in a year. And if we need a new blanket, they can be replaced for under $20. Um, let's talk, okay, so this is a steamer I bought at Target. I never use it because I don't like the way it works. I don't know if I've just been holding on to it thinking maybe it'll work. It's not gonna work, it's gonna go back. Shoes. These don't fit in my room because I have a smaller closet. They're winter boots. Winter has come and gone and I didn't wear any of these boots. So they're going. Boots, gone, I don't need them. They're not actively used, they're not deeply cherished, and I'm a bargain shopper. If I need them, I can buy new ones for under 20 bucks. And I've got ones that I actively wear in there, so they're gone. Um, toilet paper, we're gonna store in here. Laundry detergent, we're gonna store back in here. When it comes to these bins, so this is the only storage that I have in here, and I need this space, okay? So these have gotta go. I already made a phone call, and either my dad or a friend is gonna take these bins. I'm gonna see if I can consolidate into one. If you have a small space, see if you can leave one of your storage bins at someone's house. We have the baby attic. These bins wouldn't even fit in here. So don't be afraid to think that you can store something off site. So, you know, if you don't have a family member or a friend who would take a bin for you, maybe get a storage unit that's relatively cheap. Give yourself your space. Give yourself some sanity. This stuff's going to come out. And then I don't think we have a lot to go back in. Last thing that needs to be decluttered in here is shoes besides the boots. Rain boots stay. My kid's football field gets flooded sometimes. I do need those. These are all in here and I've never worn them since I've moved in and I actually haven't worn them in a year. So these are all being donated. Um, I am so excited. I think that's it for going through stuff. I am so excited. I am standing in my closet. I wasn't even gonna show you this a couple of minutes ago, right? So I'm super excited and I told you guys to stay till the end because I was gonna share the secret. The top thing, okay, to set yourself up for success for decluttering and not fail every time. Decluttering, are you ready? Listen, open your ears and hear me loud and clear. Take the emotion out of the decision. 
okay? You've got to think fast. You've got to think logical. Do not base your decisions on emotions. Think with your mind, not with your heart. So when I was going over those Disney blankets, some of you were probably thinking, like if it was yours, definitely not me because I don't get sentimental like that. But maybe you were thinking, oh my gosh, like I got those three blankets each three different times when we went to Disney World with my family and they mean something and this. That's emotional. Do you need it or not? Can you replace it or not? Is it actively used or not? That's it. Do not make it a big trip down memory lane because our stuff was not meant to be that emotional. They are objects. They are objects. They are not, they are not the memory. The memory is not in the blanket. The memory is in your heart and mind because you remembered being there and maybe you have pictures on your phone of it. If you do have something you were extremely sentimental about and you are extremely cherishing, you can put that in a keepsake box like I talk about all the time, but definitely not when you were doing a normal declutter. Do not base that on emotion. You've got to make those false, false, fast decisions and you've got to make them with your brain. You've got to think logically. Emotions get us every time. Emotions will make this declutter super fast. I prepared myself before I dove into here and I said, okay, I just need my space and I don't need the stuff. It's very easy for me because I'm not emotionally attached to stuff and I want you guys to know you don't have to be either. So once you start in baby steps to open up your mind to thinking logically and not emotionally, it's gonna be a lot easier. A blanket is a blanket, that's it. A shirt is a shirt, that's it. A stuffed animal is a stuffed animal, that's it. Does it serve its purpose of being actively used? Can it be replaced? Is that, is that easy? It is that easy, guys. Once you can figure out to do this process and just think like Nicole, you are going to set yourself up for decluttering success every single time. Thank you guys for watching. And if you have not already hit that red subscribe button, please do so now so you can follow me on my journey so you guys never miss a beat or a basket or a decluttering tip from your girl. I will see you guys next time. And fun tip about Nicole, fun fact about Nicole. I've been sharing get to know your girl at the end of my videos. So I had someone ask me, are you emotionally attached to anything, girl? Nope, I am not. I am not sentimental about anything. Um, actually, one little thing, I will not lie. So Christmas ornaments that my kiddos make me, I do keep those. I don't keep year-round crafts, I just don't. But Christmas ornaments, I keep those because I actively use them on my tree every year. Um, and then I do have a keepsake box of my kids' stuff, like one box for both of them for their entire childhood. So no, I am not an emotional attachment creature. I don't deeply cherish stuff. I deeply cherish my friends, my family, my experiences, and my memories. And I hope that I can guide you guys to be the same because once you experience the freedom of your stuff, you are gonna be so happy and you're gonna be doing happy dances in your decluttered closet. I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys.